our next? And our next? Oh my gosh! Abangan!
She's been there and done that. Yeah. She's been there and she was done with that. Yeah. And then one day, in the middle of the night, she allowed me back, back on stage with her, because that's the kind of person that she is. The most important magic in my 42 years. Queen of the Philippines. King and Champion and Dami Night Sides at your concert. Of course, your good friends sang with you, yes. performed with you after 40 plus years, Mark. How does it feel? It feels great. It's a little tiring. I didn't expect to be this tired. Preparing for it was tiring because you're mm -hmm. Champion and dance. I have a different voice, I have a different body, I have a different everything. A lot of people the voice. think cause that you, you're so used to it, you don't get stressed anymore. Obviously, it's not true. It's not true, especially now because before, back in the day, we used to do concerts sometimes twice, three times a year. And then mm -hmm. we have shows around the world. In and between. then you learn new songs, right? And then muscle memory that yeah. it kicks in, your voice remembers where to go when you're singing in those shows. But oh, the time in between sometimes, we don't have big major shows. Mm -hmm. And that's happening a lot in my career now. They're very spaced out. But you have a show almost <laughs> every day. I beg to disagree. <laughs> si Martin po, ang performer na walang pahinga. The more I sing, I think the better. Para mag warm up. Yung bosses ko parang diesel engine ba? You know, you always say this in every concert that you have, that you actually perform for everyone and he lives to perform and sing for all of his audience. Oh my God, all these years? She's paying attention. I actually do, I take down notes. No, I know, we, we, you've seen me at my best, you've seen me at my worst, and your energy call, my inspiration has always been the people and performing on a stage, you'll never find anyone who loves what I do more than me. I love it. It's my happy place. You don't uh, need to dance, Mark. <laughs> Thank I, I think, God. I think if you can dance, sobra na, no? So the singing, <laughs> the voice is enough. The audience wants to learn more about you as if they don't know you. <laughs> Rack your top one to three favorite concerts. Ooh, this has to be one of them. Mm -hmm. King, the King Forever has to be one of them because it was a show put together by my friends. Namitiwala sa akin. Uh, yung unang unang concert ko sa Folk Arts Theater, that has to be another one. And yung third, siguro yung first time na ginami ko ng uh, Philharmonic Orchestra. It was called Live at the CCP with the PPO with the MRN. L I V E. Now you hopefully all know how to spell, okay? <laughs> ano yung pinaka ginawa mong concert na sobra kang emotional? I want to say San. Carlos University sa Cebu. Wow. Uh, bagong naghiwala yung, yung magulang ko. I was very emotional and for some reason, the Cebuanos knew it. Wala kami social media. Wala yeah, kami yeah, yeah. walang balita. 
But somehow they felt what I was feeling. But they sang the, the whole song of Say That You Love Me with candles. Wala pang cell phones, I mean, at the time. So doon pala nag-upisa no yung cell phone, Say That You Love Me. That's why when I go to Cebu now, if you are of my age anyway, when I sing Say That You Love Me, parang that's our song to each other. So, if you were to perform a duet, aside from me, <laughs> with an artist, who would that be? Walang BS to. The, the easiest, the most automatic duet ko is really you. And to do back-to-back -back shows with you is the easiest. People don't know how easy it is for us to perform <laughs> together. My dream duet, well, I would love to sing with Michael Bublé. You never sang, because you're good friends, right? We sang one time, we jammed in one of my shows okay. when I first met him over at a place called On Stage, which no longer exists. I would love to sing with Celine Dion. Yeah. And if my dad was still alive, I would love to sing with him again. Robin, my dad, and maybe even Finn. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine? Share a very funny incident that happened to you either backstage or on stage during a concert. Very quick costume change during the song my guest was singing Climb Every Mountain. Folks, if you want to know, Climb Every Mountain is less than three minutes. I was soaking wet at the Ultra and my underwear did not change. Who changes underwear? The underwear seeped through the pants and it looked like I had peed in my pants. This girl was the first one to see it and all of their faces were like, we all saw you. I changed my pants right on stage. Now, if you were to perform in a place, in a venue where you've never performed in, mm -hmm. a new dream venue. With an orchestra led by David Foster at the Coliseo in Rome. Oh. Didn't get an answer, right? Yes, I love that. You like First that? First of all, I love Italy. Yes, I love Rome. Mm -hmm. And that would be perfect, right? right? Well, words are very powerful. You'll never know. Okay. David. And your favorite song ever, ever, then I record mine. To sing it over and over again, yeah. what would that be? That's a great question. Because the ones people want me to, the, the people want to hear me sing over and over is Be My Lady. That's their favorite. That's their favorite. My favorite to sing, really the truth, I love Say That You Love Me. The melody, the, the chord progression, the modulation, the, the, the dynamics of the song, it really, for me, it really brings out my voice, what I would like to portray. Like and I was it's an actor. so bad, But originally, <coughs> you say that you love me. Pass it on this. There is a particular moment in your career that you would want to redo because you want to live it again mm. or change because you know, <clears throat> I could have done better. What would that be? Oh, every show, every note, every performance, I know I could have done better. Huh? I don't have a performance where it was perfect. Oh, the audience more no perfect now. Well, I'm perfect. If there's perfect, then we would be having this, this conversation. Mm -hmm. um, to do over again, uh, I think everything I did led me to this chair now. Where I am today, all the good, all the bad, the mistakes. I think I, the more mistakes I made, it made, made me a better singer, mm -hmm. a better performer, a better person. I think hopefully the, the changes, that uh, the mistakes I made, made me better. I don't know. It's up to you to decide. He always I'm, wants to better himself. I know, I know the answer to this, but is Martin ever going to stop singing? I already know the answer. Never. Never. Until I lose my voice, until you lose your interest in my voice. There's no more songs to sing, no audience to sing to, no songs to sing about, no, no reason, no occasion to sing for. I'll, I'll keep singing. There's no end, I think. So what's the next move after your 40 plus years in the business? How will Martin be significant and how will he be different? Up on that. <laughs> no, I, I have no plan. I think that's what's exciting. I think at this point in my career, in my life, really, I like who I am today. Mm -hmm. I like the pace that I'm living. I'm able to pick and choose what I want, not worried about what people think, not trying to prove anything to anyone, seeing what I want, where I want, as often or as little as I want. Well, you come to your career, you come to the point of your yeah. career where you don't have to prove anything because, I'll say it again, and this is the truth coming from my heart. There's only one king in the Philippines, and that is Martin Yadera. The first day I met him, this is what he's always wanted to do, and what you see 
is all for the love of you guys because he knows what you guys need. She got that. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So, to the king, congratulations. Thanks again. again. And thanks for being there, always being there. I try to be when we're not <laughs> fighting. <laughs> Thank you so much, Martin. I know you're pleasure. very busy. So, abangyo po yung ibang pang mga shows ni Martin, of course. And he's going to be traveling again very, very soon. And until your next major concert. Right? In our next. In our next. Oh my gosh! Abangan! Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. And don't forget, let's always stay positive. See you guys.